So hello and welcome back to Game of These Coins and Banknotes. And for this current UV feature that we're going to look at on these banknotes are from the Democratic Republic of Congo. So there are two countries named Congo. This one issues their own currency, the Congolese franc, which was a replacement for the Zaverian there. And before that, they used the Zaverian franc and then before that, you yeah, use the Congo franc in the first place, which is from the Belgian Congo. The other country, the Republic of Congo, uses the CFA franc, so it's not an independent currency. It's tied to the euro via France, and the head office is pretty much in Paris. So they use that along with other current countries like Guinea Bissau. Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, and it's similar to the West African franc. So, this one, the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, the banknotes first issued in 1997, but they soon lost value. They've only ever issued banknotes. I think the last coin they issued was 1987. So, this is a country that just uses banknotes. And other countries in Africa that just use banknotes would be Sudan, South Sudan, Nigeria, uh, Guinea, or oh, whatever countries. Oh, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, just going north to south. I think they're the main ones that just issue banknotes. And then the summit probably has coins, but they're not used in circulation like. Ethiopia, uh, or oh, Somalia uses only banknotes, but they probably just use the US dollar pretty much. Then we have uh, the Gambia, they probably just use banknotes. Egypt, they have coins and banknotes, but probably the banknotes are more popular. Uh, and then we have a, most of the other countries just use coins and banknotes. So this is Apart from Nigeria, the biggest country with 100 million people that uses their banknotes. So I've got the UV lamp, and well, let's get into it. So, what we need to find out is okay, so once again, as I turn the light off, uh, I did actually get down, pause the actual camera. Okay, so we've got the 10 francs, which is the lowest value denomination. And I expect all of these to have fibers. Uh, this is 2003, but this is equivalent to one cent, so it's probably too expensive to put these fibers in now. It's, uh, I would suspect that the current banknotes probably have a, a weaker UV. Then we've got the 20 franc, same feature, the 50 francs, 2013. I'm surprised it has so much UV because this is equivalent to about five Australian cents. Okay, the 100 francs, so in 1997 when this was first issued, this is always very banknote. Now it's equivalent to about 10 cents. Although I haven't looked at the exchange rate for quite a while, maybe it could be equivalent to five cents if it's devalued to 2,000 francs. Okay, so this one does have UV in the security thread. But it's pretty weak. 200 francs. We have weakness in the denomination. So that 200 up there does it does reflect it, but it's pretty weak in the security thread as well. But this is a 2007, so it reflects the actual devaluation of the currency. And the 200 was first issued in 2000, so we have weakness in the security thread right there. Okay, then we have the 500, and this is where it changes a little bit. So the security thread has a lot stronger UV, and this is the first year of issue 2002. And the 500, so the denomination there has UV on it as well. Okay. But apart from that, nothing else. Just got the threads again, and also on the back, the threads and the security. Uh, okay, then we got the commemorative 500 issued in 
2010 and we have UV around the map and that seems to be basically it so there you go UV around it and also we have lettering there so it looks like it says Democratic Republic of Congo in microprint UV and on the back we don't have that much UV on this side, just the, the threads again. And then we have the next series, which is, I think it was issued in 2013. Uh, this is the 1,000 or 20,000, of which I've only got the 1,000 franc. This is equivalent to about 50 cents to a dollar. And the main security feature is around the bank logo, as well as fibers do we have any of them no i don't see any of them have a uh, the serial number uv no okay so and on the back the same but we have more fibers because this is a higher value bank note i would suspect that the twenty thousand might be similar to this or it might have just slightly increased uv but anyway Hope this helps you with your banknote collecting because uh yeah banknote collecting is actually quite nice i don't mind it it's very interesting you've got a lot of different varieties and also uh they're actually lighter to actually uh post so a lot better than coins which get a bit heavy when you try to post so many of them together anyway i'd like to say thank you very much Ooh, look. It's gone dark, and I don't know, where's my light? Ah, there you go. So basically, my favourite bank note of this lot is this uh, 1,000 franc. And as you can see, it has, uh, has ink there. I'm not too sure where that ink has actually come from. It says 500. No. So, yeah, that is very interesting. It could be an error. Could be what? I don't know. I need to find that out. Oh, I've just noticed that in the first place. Obviously, it hasn't come from another denomination. It's come from probably another banknote from a different country, which is pretty sad. Anyway, thank you very much, and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.